Well, what have you been up to lately? Pretty much completely changed changed my mind on going to music industry arts. I pretty much am not digging that anymore. I do not want to do that. Because it takes two years to do it. And I have other motives that I want to fulfill within this time. I'll always like really always always really want to do like recording and shit, like recording music and stuff, but at the same time. Do I really want to go to a two-year course to become a professional music recorder? I don't really want to be like an engineer or a business owner of musicians. I don't want to own and I don't want to take anything too seriously with music. I want it to be chill. Which is exactly the way that I'm heading right now, so. It's gonna downsize this. It's a bit awkward looking at myself talking. Um Yeah, I mean, I've been really taking a look at like, well, I guess the main, the main reason why you don't want to do it anymore is because you really want to, like you, you've seen, um, you're seeing all these problems with the way that like, I don't know, I've never really liked the way society works at all. I've always like, every time something happens or like I go to like, you know, when I first started going to school, it was exciting, but then once the novelty wears off and about like, I don't know, grade seven and eight, and you start to kind of like realize things that you didn't before, like when you, when you were first in school, like you'd think like, oh yeah, this is it. This is the, like, this is kind of like life. And this is like, I have to determine who I am within this, what I, what I'm given. It's like, you want, you want to please your friends. You want to seem like you're this guy. You, Imagine yourself as like a superhero that you uh, watch on TV and you know, you're always looking up to be something depending on what's been provided. And then once you get to like grade seven and eight and you know, you keep trying to fit in and it just becomes like harder and harder and you have to keep changing yourself in order to fit, fit in, you know, by the time high school rolls around, you're just like, What the fuck am I doing? And, uh, you know, you really got to thank your best friend, uh, Jared Meyer for always being there for you. Cause he was always, he was never clicky like that. Like, like you were like, he's never really cared to please others that much. Or at least it wasn't apparent anyways. So, but, so you learned a lot from that. It was an exchange. He was really always didn't want to go out. And you were always like trying to go out and get him to meet girls and stuff like that. And so, you know, he'd come along. So it was like an exchange of like, he taught me how to not be clicky. And he was always there for me when I didn't want to be. Well, that's not that he taught me not to be, but he was always there when I was like, oh, I don't want to be a part of this anymore. Like I feel, you know, like doing, uh, I'm doing, um, more harm to myself trying to please these people than good by being a part of the group. And Jerry was always there for me, even though, you know, whatever happens. So yeah, uh, so high school comes, comes around and, um, you know, I started, I started gearing myself towards music because I didn't like the, the system of, uh, of high school. It wasn't very good. It was based on things that I really didn't find appealing, like parabolas and um, just pretty much to me it was nonsense. I mean, there's no need for me to, I felt to extend myself, like to spend my energy on learning parabolic shapes, metrics, like all like that, like the graph stuff. I mean, like that's interesting stuff, but I mean, why is that? something that I need to learn in like grade 11 or grade 10 even. There's, the problem is the only um, uh, like alternative is to go to alternative schooling, which, which by the standards of where I was living is like, you know, you're looked at as a retard, not sorry, like not, 
I guess you shouldn't say retard, but you looked at it as somebody who was like lazy and like, you know, couldn't figure it out. But really, truly, alternative schooling is a place that cared about you as an individual and wanted to figure out like, what do you want? And let's gear you towards that. Uh, however, the only problem with that is it's still like within that selection of things that, you know, makes a society work. They're basically still just trying to help you become that cog that keeps this huge, uh, this huge system working. And it's a really, really good idea if you want to be a part of that system because then you can help to make a great, really great organized thing work. But uh, the only problem is that I find is just that, like, I don't, it is, we're just all too disconnected, you know? It's like we don't even realize what we're, what we're actually doing every day. And we're just doing it because it's, like, supplying us with money. And, I mean, like, there's really no meaning behind money. You don't feel good about having, like, you can do stuff with money. But in the end, you're just, you're just doing things at the expense of the time you've already spent. And when you do those things, you don't really get as much pleasure as you'd hope. I mean, if you had the free time, maybe you'd make your own your own movie or your own music video for fun and watch it and get joy out of it and share it with your friends. But now we go watch movies with famous people and, you know, look up to them because we want to do that. But really, we could if we just didn't work so hard to go and do things like that and work less so we can make like things like that ourselves and share it amongst our friends. And that takes you away from that cog of like the big system and it creates your own system where you can just hang out and you know trade with other people like the whole trading thing is just gone now school doesn't teach you how to do anything meaningful it teaches you how well you know i mean it depends on how you apply the information they teach you. That's how every that's how everything is. I know I shouldn't be so uh I shouldn't probably be so like I don't know, general I shouldn't generalize it that much or assume that much, but it's definitely a point of view thing. And uh that's pretty much what's been on my mind is that the fact that I just don't really want to go back to school.